All right, hey guys. Um, doing a bunch of filming today just so I can have stuff to post because I don't always post and it's been a while. So um, I'm going to do a BioLite update. Um, we'll start with this guy because he's right here. Um, I finally did have him die. If you guys watch my videos, you guys know the other day I was filming and it died and I had basically no light in the mini man cave and was using flashlights and bio lights, other lights to keep some sort of lighting going on out here. And sorry, I can back so I can get to it easier. Um, and I was actually running those off this one. I haven't charged this since that day and it's still half powered. So um, I ran this one while I was just hanging out out here um, for two days and it's worked fantastic. I'm actually gonna plug it into this since that's fully charged and it's getting good sunlight right now um, to get this one back up to a full charge. And then that just lives out here now with that thing. Um, they were supposed to be bringing a battery out for this to have a 100 watt hour battery, but I don't know if that kind of fell through or if it was kind of a hope that never came to complete fruition, flourishing, whatever, however you say that word. Um, but yeah, they, uh, it seems like that kind of fell off somewhere at BioLite, uh, my contact over there, the last time I asked him about it, they said maybe within the next year or well, well, that's been about a year now. Um, that was right after I did that, my last BioLite update video and yeah, so that's that one. Um, okay. So moving on from that since then, um, this is my original, um, BioLite grill and it still works fantastic. However, it is like five years old now and it's falling apart a little bit. So I did get, I really hope this is clean at the moment. Um, my apologies if it is not, uh, it should be clean. This is the newer one. Yeah, it's mostly clean. Um, they did change the grill grates from a solid piece to these, these welded little bar things. It's easier to clean though. Um, I wasn't sure about it at first, but to be honest, the biggest reason that I up upgraded and got the newer one is had nothing to do with my older one. It had everything to do with finding it for $15 at REI. And I couldn't believe it. And I should have bought like four of them because they had like, four of them left and I should have bought them all. Um, and I really regret not buying at least a second one because my other one's in not as good shape. <laughs> Um, I don't have everything right here with me. I do have the kettle charges still and they still work. Um, if you guys can find a kettle charge, even if you guys have a gas stove, I really, really recommend it. Um, don't let kids use it. It, the pour spout is um, a little bit wonky on it. It, um, splashes, use a wider cup. Um, that's all I can say about that one. The kettle pots, I have two of them. Uh, one of them has a broken lid. Um, the glue around the top just came out. Um, when I contacted BioLite support about it, they were like, Hey, you know what? We don't have the lids right now. And they just sent me a new one. And I was super, super stoked. Um, I, what can I say about BioLite support other than they are absolutely fantastic. I've had such a good experience dealing with the support over at BioLite. Um, I keep looking up there because I'm looking at the next thing that I'm doing. And it's actually the first product I really can't 100% recommend. Um... And I'll show you guys why, sorry. I should have been more prepared for this video and I wasn't. Um, so anybody who watches my videos knows I've got the BioLite Camp Stove version one and the Camp, 
the camp stove version two. And I bought the camp stove version two because I love the version one. It is phenomenal. It is a trooper. It can be used in, I've used it in pretty much any temperature, summer, winter, does not matter. Doesn't overheat. I don't have issues with it. It burns everything down to dust. Um, I cannot speak for every unit and I'll get to that in a second but I absolutely love the version one. It does have some shortcomings. Um, the biggest one being, I really can't use it to charge much anymore other than my Kindle and my headphones. They don't take a lot of power. Um, I can charge like the backup battery, that little battery off of it. I can't charge the bigger ones off of them. For some reason, they just don't want to take a charge from it or they do, but it's so, slow because those batteries are so big it just just kills them which was why i upgraded to the version 2 which i'm not as thrilled with <laughs> i don't get me wrong i love it it's a cool product um but <laughs> um this one i this is actually the second one of the version 2 that i've had and the first one started overheating and was constantly overheating no matter what the outside temperature was. There was something wrong with the sensor. I sent it back. They sent me a new one. This is the new one. Um, new being relative, it's been a year since then or over a year since then. And this one has been a good performer. But one thing I noticed with both of them, they do not burn all the way down. Um, I don't know if everybody's having that issue who bought these. But this one leaves a lot more in it when it shuts off. The other one, the older one runs longer before it shuts off. This one like shuts off too soon, um, in my opinion, to fully burn everything down. Um, I do like the difference, how much power you get out of this one and that this can be used as a backup battery brick, sort of, <laughs> um, sort of. <laughs> um, it's not the most convenient backup battery brick, but it can be used as one. And like right now, mine's almost fully charged. It's down to one bar. Um, I use it just enough that I think I've plugged it in twice. And I believe around the two years I've had this now, or a year and a half since that I've had this, or year that I've had it, I plugged it in twice. Once when I first got it, just to go to full charge, and then once um, it didn't have enough charge. I had left my phone on it and my, it did charge my iPhone seven, I believe almost all the way or all the way. Um, and yeah, it, you can charge your phone off this one directly too. Um, I tried to do a video a couple weeks ago and, uh, the video completely failed. There was issues I had with it and then found out it was working fine. You just plug my phone straight into it. Oh, that's really weird. It must have been almost to go to the next level because it just dropped another bar. And I'm just noticing that for the first time. Anyways, um, the other issue I had with this, and I don't know if everybody had this issue, but if you look at the bottom, that is a regular screw now because that leg was almost falling off. The welding on the version two for those for the feet does not seem to be as good as the original one the original one that i have that i've had for five over five years now it's still tight um i think i bought that back in 2013 maybe even earlier um i think i originally bought that at rei maybe 2012 while i was still working at albertson's and so it's been eight years and that one's still a champ. I still use it. I use it more than this one, honestly, more than the version two. Um, unfortunately in Southern California, the version two, it's just, it's too warm here for it. Um, you can really, it, it benef the colder it is, the more electricity you're going to produce. The colder it is, the better it's going to work. But it doesn't get really cold enough here to use this one in SoCal. Um, when we went to the mountains a few years ago, no, I still had the version. I only had the version one. I didn't have this one yet. So, but it is just as packable as the other one. Um, and I do like that. It, 
for me that's awesome um, and they pack inside of the kettle pots so all of that is together even though it takes up a little more room it's a little more heavy i like that it's all together um trying to think if i have any other biolite stuff other than the lights and stuff that i've done other videos on and those all still work fine lights actually i take that back the um if you guys again watch my videos for a while i did unboxings and stuff maybe two years ago on the biolite xl uh, base lantern xls um i do have two of those we leave one in our living room one in our bedroom and it seems like the one in our bedroom we do use that one a lot more and maybe this is just a perception thing maybe they're both just fine i'd have to run tests on them to see how long they actually both run for and see if one is dying faster but it seems like the one in our bedroom i'm charging it every few days now but it does get left on and we do have the two biggest lights plugged into that one we have the little mini string lights plugged into the one in the living room. Um, I do mostly recommend those still. I don't really recommend the app anymore for those. The app was really cool. It worked really well when I first came out. But it seems like the more they've tried to tweak it and do stuff to that app, the more features either get taken away or don't work right. Um, for example, the... Charge level. The, um, the charge level works while you're charging it. It stops working the minute it's unplugged. And I no longer get any time frame of how long my lantern will work. Um, and that changed immediately with the last... I think it was the 2.0 update for the app. That change with that. That was not a lighting... A change with the light itself. That was a change in the app. Because both my lights are doing it what can i do there um the lights themselves still function like they're supposed to all of the other functions of the light function like they're supposed to the um changing of the colors and all that still function just the same and i'm trying to think i think that's it i think that's all the biolite stuff too home stove Home stove was actually the one I was trying to do the video on, and that's too big, and it's over there. I'm not going to pick it up. I love the home stove. I wish they would bring it back, but I really, really want to get that fire pit, but I don't have anywhere to use it or for it to go right now. But the home stove is probably one of the coolest BioLite products I have. It's different to get back to see how people live in other parts of the world and when you're using that you kind of realize that you've got to keep that fire going to keep your food cooking and um there are people who use that as their only form of electricity there's people who only use that as their their only cooking surface and um It's kind of hard to explain, but it's uh, it's a different feeling when you're cooking on that thing and you're trying to cook a whole meal for a family on just that. And I've done that quite a bit. If you guys watch my videos, my older videos, you guys can see that I've cooked meals and stuff on that. Big one pot meals um, in my big 15 inch cast iron skillet. Um, anyways, uh, that one still works great. It's... Uh, touchy on what it charges it's really meant to charge smaller phones and that's about it and run a little bit little lights um as long as you keep a consistent fire in it it will run lights just fine but you really got to watch your flame in it and make sure they are keeping the fire fed enough to keep that going anyways i'm going to end this one here thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing i will catch you guys in the next video